I have a new TV show on Newsmax TV on Saturdays at 7.30. Tune in. You'll enjoy it. Didn't it feel good when that tax cut passed and the tax reform with it and the repeal of the Obamacare mandate? Well, that's what happens when the Republicans have a clear majority and they act together. I cast my mind back to the Civil War when uh, all the attention obviously was on the war itself. But it also was an incredible legislative opportunity for Congress that's often overlooked the dawn of the modern industrial era. The Democrats walked out of Congress, many of them from states that had seceded. And uh, those that were left in Congress from northern states were hopelessly outvoted, more than a two-thirds majority for the Republicans, I think three-quarters of each House. And it permitted the Republicans to pass the Whig Republican legislative agenda that had been kicking around for 30 or 40 years, stymied by Democrat suspicions about big government and uh, the underlying suspicion of technology and industry that the party received from Thomas Jefferson at its founding, the belief in yeoman farmers, subsistence farming, not in industrialization. And now that the Democrats were gone, the Republicans could legislate the stuff to their heart's content. And in this session, uh, these two sessions, they passed the Transcontinental Railroad. Previously, it was hung up on what route to take, a southern route or a northern route. And they voted for the northern route, of course, and it was completed. Uh, the Homestead Act that gave everybody 160 acres and a mule uh, in, in, on federal lands that opened up the West to massive development. The Land Grant College Act that set up the first colleges and universities in the United States, except for the elite institutions like Harvard and Princeton, Yale and Columbia. But there were 70 land grant colleges that were formed uh, as a result of this legislation. It set up a high tariff which permitted American in industry to develop. The South, which depended on foreign trade and cotton, had opposed the tariff and had threatened to leave the Union over it. It was one of the causes of secession. But behind the t a high tariff, American in industry could and did flourish. They set up a national currency, previously state currencies were used, that gave the economy a sound basis. And they set up a national bank to issue the currency, uh, again, the foundation of our current capitalist system. It was an extraordinary period of legislation in which they got everything they wanted to do done. Let this be an inspiration to today's Republican Party.